Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Starfield episode, oh, it's a mods episode this week where I said I was going to go through a build tutorial of the mod that we covered a few weeks ago, in fact probably about a month ago now, um, called the Millennium Falcon mod from or the Star Wars YT1300 mod or 1300 Millennium Falcon mod from Nexus and it is by election is 007 and it has been ported over to xbox now uh, and that has been ported over by uh, somebody called bill jones and it is called the millennium falcon star wars acso if you want to go and have a look i will post links down below but this has now been ported over from nexus mods to Bethesda Creations so you can use it on your Xbox. Now before we get into how to build this and a, a quick voiced build guide on this, a um, couple of notes. So if you're building this on PC you are going to need to modify your Starfield uh, any file and in order to do that you are going to need to go into a notepad editor of some such and you are going to need to put in a couple of lines of code or just one line of code which will be the following so the file is called starfieldcustom.ini and it is the spaceship tag that you put on there and then you put f ship builder module overlap tolerance equals minus four now you can find this within the starfield data folders um, i'll put all the links down below where you should be able to find them and i'll show it on screen as well with regards to the xbox version obviously you cannot edit those files so with the xbox version you are going to need to download a mod that is called ship building tweaks again i'll post the link in the description and you're going to need to put this mod at the very bottom of your load order so it loads in last now once you've got those in there effectively you are going to want to do a full uh, xbox restart or pc restart after installing them basically to allow the any files to load correctly now once you've got all that prerequisite steps done then you can go into building the millennium falcon okay and what you're going to see is you are going to see um, if we come into things like structural for example you are going to see things like a millennium falcon fuselage if we go into weapons you're going to see a quad laser cannon for the base you're going to see a top quad laser cannon as well you're going to see custom ones like this the yt1300 bay now as you can see that doesn't have anything on it so these have been created by election is 007 so that you're able to build this ship to the best of its look capability best of starfield's capability so that you can actually utilize this ship okay so we're going to get straight into how to build this so first of all you're going to want to go to any shipyard right now we're on narion we're on our own shipyard so we don't have to worry about that so we're going to start off guys and we're going to start creating this with the hab to start off with so the combination that you need to do is basically create a three by three hab using any combination we're going to start off with our stroud um either battle station doesn't matter which one you want to do here cargo hall computer core or living quarters i want to just do living quarters here so we're going to place that down and then what we're going to do is we're going to place a three by one hab on the port side here so we're going to add and we're going to do for this one you can use any of them engineering companion i'm going to use an all-in-one um just to match the scheme as well um you can choose a, a empty one so we'll do that because we can decorate it afterwards um and then what we're going to do is we're going to place two one by one halves on the back side over here so we're going to come in and go g here we're going to use stroud again um so let's do this move this over to here 
and we're going to replicate that as well move that to there so this creates our three by three okay and then we're going to want to put um a another one on the front here um and then that will create our three by three hab okay and then we're going to be creating um an invisible hab section okay okay so we now have basically our skeleton if you like our structure okay so this will allow us to build upon this and create the rest of the ship so with the next piece comes the hab okay so i've already added this but i'm going to show you how i add it so on the pc look i'm on the four section of the ship and i'm selecting so i'm over the attachment point okay pressing g to add in the um module and then we're going to go up and we're going to select the three by one hab front invisible this allows you to basically auto connect to that location or that snap point, okay? And then you don't have to worry about trying to physically snap it or anything like this. So we can come back and it will automatically snap to it, look. Okay, moving on to the next piece. So now we're going to want to have a look at the port aft side, right? So as you can see, we have port, starboard, aft and four. So we want to connect to this side here. So we're going to click on the G icon um, and we're going to want an invisible hab side. So we're going to come into here and you'll see how that's snapping, okay? So that's what we're looking for. Um, and you can see that you snapped it there. Okay, so we have an invisible hab with a snap point of um, there effectively, okay? Now we're going to effectively want to duplicate this one. So on PC, control G, and we're placing it right next to it. So you can see, look, I'm only moving my mouse slightly, but where the snap point is, is actually here. So the snap point is actually this bit here, okay? So we're getting it right next to the module. Um, we're then gonna be looking at weapon attachment points. Okay, so we're gonna want a weapon attachment point on the starboard and on the port side. So if we come into structural over here, so we've got these horizon weapon points, okay? So we have a horizon weapon point there, and then we are looking at a horizon weapon point here as well. Uh, let's add that, and that's your effectively your weapon points, okay? So we're then going to want to add our weapons to it. Before we move on, we're going to want to add our equipment plates and we're going to add them to our front section here. So we're going to go in here and add equipment plate at the front here. Just go and duplicate that again three times so that now we have an equipment plate at each top mounting section on the ship. Okay, now we'll move on to the next section. So right now we are going to go ahead and add the weapons onto our ship here. Now weapons obviously you can choose anything that you want. I do prefer to use, uh, let's have a look here. I prefer to use um, particle cannons so that's what I'm going to be adding. Now the way that we're going to want these to, to connect, okay, so we see this mounting point here. You basically need it to connect like that. And then we need to do it uh, so it's connected at a diagonal angle and then we also then need to basically replicate that for the bottom section as well okay so we've got two there and then we are going to replicate this on the other side so if you effectively click on the or just even highlight on the PC and on Xbox as well and then click to add it will effectively put that that module in that position for you okay making it much easier for you to snap items to locations all right okay so what we're doing now is we're going to look at the uh, cargo bay so 
We are going to want to uh, spin our ship around here so that we've got our starboard location over here. Uh, I'm just going to move that across as well. Um, so that we're looking at our starboard location over here. And we're going to be looking for our um, cargo bay to attach to this spot right here. So we're going to press G here and we're going to go and select the YT1300 bay under bays. Now because I'd already selected that point look it's already lined itself up. Now if we pull that away you can see that there is actually a mounting point that's invisible on the module. We want that to line up with that middle mounting point there. Okay. So that will basically line up with that mounting point and that is your bay added. So right now, as we're still underneath the ship, we're going to be looking at attaching our landing bays um, or landing arms. So effectively, we're going to do the front one first. So I'm hovering over this mounting point. I'm going to go to where are we? gear here, landing gear, and we're going to do a single. So we are putting that so that it matches with that on the selection so look we can see when I hover over it and select it the actual mounting point is correct okay so that's your first mounting point what we're then going to want to do is we're going to want to replicate this so that we attach one to the left here or the starboard side mounting point and the port side mounting point so again come in control g and move it so that the module snaps look okay and then we're going to do the same control g and you can see as i move it across it will snap to the module snapping point so that will give us our first three single landing um, landing gears and then we're going to move on to our dual landing gears. So with the dual landing gears, I'm going to actually, I'm going to zoom out here and move it down. So the dual landing gears will be on this rear module here at the starboard aft side and on this mounting point here at the port aft side as well. So we're going to just add that lander, which is the dual lander there. And then we're going to duplicate that again across to the left hand side. So we can see again that we've got our landing point there, our modification point, so our module snapping point, and we connect it there. So when we actually look at her now, she looks very strange, right? But what we're checking for when we switch to this view is that all of these um, landing gears line up okay so they're all in the correct response correct areas now yeah when you look at it obviously uh, a lot of points are not actually connecting don't worry about that because once we add in all the additional parts everything will connect together okay so we're going to start looking at adding the fuselage and cockpit and all the other sections to it right now so this is where she actually starts to take shape and look a bit like a Millennium Falcon. So we're going to want to go into our structural section and we're looking for the Millennium Falcon fuselage. Okay. Now, as you can see, that has come onto my screen very, very low. All right. So on PC, you can use um, F to uh, effectively create uh, effectively move that piece up and down so you can use R and F so R brings the piece up F brings the piece down now on Xbox I don't know what that is I'm sorry um, but you will need to effectively try and figure out a way to make that piece go up and down um, and uh, yeah that will allow you to um, to move it into position and the position that you're looking for is effectively where that structural uh, equipment hard point is looking through this window at the top of the um, structure of the fuselage okay 
Now, once that's in place, you can see, look, it will actually wipe out. It will want to snap to multiple points. What we're looking for is for it to snap to this point over here. Okay, so you can see, look, that section, that middle equipment plate is where we're looking for it to snap to. And it will leave some exposed parts here some exposed parts here and across the front here as well but all of those will get filled up in time but it's starting to look like the millennium falcon right even the cargo bay and docking port is all in the same place which is just brilliant all right is he election is has done a great job of making this mod if i'm honest and putting it all together it's, it's brilliant all right, so we're going to carry on and we're next going to add in the other parts and sections of the fuselage. So just testing it out, guys. So on um, PC with a controller, if you want to uh, make the piece go up and down, obviously use the arrow keys. All right, the um, arrows on your um, D-pad. All right, so up and down. So you can make it go up and down using up and down on your D-pad. All right, just thought I'd throw that one in there. We're gonna switch back to our mouse and keyboard though. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the uh, cockpit, which is on the front here. So let's go and add that in here. So we're looking for the Millennium Falcon cockpit. Now, when you do this, it may spawn inside. Uh, somewhere within the ship or somewhere on uh, somewhere else so you can see look it spawned down here okay so we're going to want to raise that up um, uh, so that we are able to uh, let's do this so that we're able to snap it to that front there look Okay, so just like the Millennium Falcon um, in the movies, it has to snap to that front section. All right. Now, the snapping point that it's using is going to be, so if I move that out of the way, the snapping point that it's using is this front snapping point here. All right. So you can, if you want to, move the fuselage out of the way and snap the cockpit. Okay. And then we can move it all back. And it will just line up okay now again you can see we're lined up on that central equipment part and um, equipment plate and we've got the cockpit uh, lined up as well so now what we need to do is we need to look at our power requirements so we're going to fill this section down here so we are going to go into reactors and we're going to be looking at the quad x power core so again i need to uh, zoom out of this and as you can see look i'm too high okay so i'm going to select the piece and i'm going to hold it and we're going to go down until it snaps okay now we are looking at with this section we are looking at it snapping okay to that top bottom plate i know that sounds kind of counterintuitive right but we're looking at this plate here okay this mounting point that it's going to snap to um and as you can see if i pull that away it mounts and snaps to that okay so that's where we're looking at snapping that one to and then when you move it all back into place look it reacts and it fills up that space for the reactor which is great now we're going to look at adding in our grav drive and our cargo so we're going to come here and get the class hyperdrive here now again right where has it gone it has spawned somewhere within the system here so what we need to do is try and find that um and see where it has spawned to okay so i found it there so look it's right in this side here so i'm just going to uh, try and pull that out so we're going to move that out here okay so when, when it does have an issue like that and you can't find that local area basically just try and pull things apart until you can find it and then just line it all back up again okay now as you can tell look 
my cockpit is out of whack because I haven't actually lined it back up since I moved it. So this is the grav drive, the hyperdrive here. So we're going to add that into the side here. And then we're going to add our cargo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out here. And I'm going to add in the cargo. So I've got shielded cargo there. And I'm going to move it out so that we have it off to the side. And then I'm going to move the fuselage back in. And then I can come back in here and look, it automatically snaps to where I need it to be. Okay. So when you take the fuselage out, your snap point is that middle mounting point for your cargo container. Okay, right there. All right, let's move that back in here. Okay, so we've now got to add our fuel tank in here. So I'm just going to click anywhere here and um, try and add this. But you can see it's already trying to add it within the actual bulk of the ship. So I'm going to need to pull this out here. So you can see here, this is my um, fuel tank. I'm going to rearrange things here. Get that added there and bring my fuel tank back in now you can see i've brought it under the ship and it's automatically snapped into the location so when we look at this we're looking at this snapping at again that bottom snap point down here okay so again i'll show you there so you've got a large snap point away from the um, actual fuel tank and it's snapping to this bottom grid down here so we'll move that back into position and it's actually really starting to look like the Millennium Falcon now. There is a few bits missing, but we're getting to them. So the next part of this is going to be our shield projector. Okay, so we're going to come through here to shields and we've got our shield projector that is um, popped onto here. So I am going to remove the fuselage again and try and locate those shield projectors there. So you can see, I'm going to move that out of the way. This is the shield projector, right? So where it is currently, I'm going to move this over to the side, put this one back here and then move this one back into position. Now, these two spots here are where we want to put the shield projector, okay? So we're gonna bring that over, and as you can see, I might not be at the right height, but it still snaps correctly, okay? So when we actually move this out of the way, our shield projector is actually snapped, uh, when I can do it correctly here to that top mounting point just here that's where our shield projectors are snapping to all right and then you move the fuselage back in and you have the look of those shield projectors there so we're going to move on to the scan jammer which is the next part of it which is going to sit around here in this location okay so i'm going to move that out of the way and I'm just going to go into, uh, where are we? I think it's under, there, equipment. So we've got the scan jammer here, okay? So let's not move that out of the way. Grab that, move this out of the way here, put our fuselage back, and then grab our scan jammer again. And again, you can see, look, it's snapping to the location all right so as it's snapped in i'm going to take that away and then you'll be able to see where it snaps to and it is snapping to this location here sorry not this location snapping to the mount point underneath the equipment plate all right so that's where that one has to snap to So the next piece that we want to add on here, you'll notice we don't have a docker yet. Okay, we want to add in our docker and that's gonna fit onto this side over here. So we're gonna come over and go to our 
I never remember where these things are. Here we go, dockers. So we want our docker standard here. Now, obviously that hasn't snapped to where we want it. So we can see this is the docking port over here. So I'm gonna bring it out of the way here. Um, and I'm gonna zoom out. And I'm gonna bring this back in. Okay, now our docking port is going to go here. So we're going to move it until it snaps and you get the green mark underneath the actual body of the uh, fuselage here. So when we move this out of the way, we can see that that's actually snapping to the side mount point or the starboard mount point in the middle there. Okay, without the fuselage, this ship is really, really weird. But once you put that fuselage in place, it really does bring together the look of the Falcon. It really does, and I love that. Okay, moving on to the next section. Now, the Millennium Falcon is not the Falcon without the top and bottom quad laser turrets. So we are going to add those in. So I'm going to uh, try and do this here. So we're going to add the weapons in. So we've got the quad laser cannon at the top, which is this one. And again, you can see that I'm moving it across and it's snapping to that middle point. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom. And again, there is another snap point under here. So we're going to uh, come in here and bottom laser cannon now you can see how that has uh, moved out and not not correctly aligned from when we first brought it onto the build plate so we just bring it into central alignment look and that gives us our bottom and top quad laser cannons and they look great i love the look of those okay so what we're then going to do is the more important part or the most important part well the million falcon wouldn't be a falcon without its engine so let's add the engine okay so we've got the sublight engine here and we are going to just try and pick out this engine here we go and move it to the back over here pop the fuselage back on and as you can see it already lines up perfectly look so we move that into position and oh my god how phenomenal is that that looks brilliant now we do have an error down here so we're going to do a flight check and we are basically just unassigned weapons so let's go and assign those and we'll do that and yeah that will allow us uh, i'm going to leave that one as unassigned that then is our millennium falcon built guys so that is the build tutorial for the uh, star wars millennium falcon mod on both xbox and pc and i'm going to save that now and we can go ahead and we should be able to actually go into ship builder here and i should be able to change the name uh, let me just move that out and then move that back and then do a flight check rename ship so let's go into here and just name it falcon okay Except there we go so when we come out of the uh, build menu now there she is in all her glory guys so I hope this tutorial was helpful again I am NOT claiming credit for this mod at all in any way shape or form the original mod was um, created by election is 007 over on um, Nexus mods and it was ported over onto bethesda creations by bill jones guys if you want to go and do this mod uh, so that you can um have the millennium falcon in your game and play like a star wars branch of it 
then um, feel free to uh, go ahead and download that within Creations um, or download it. Oh, hello. Uh, it certainly has um, not allowed me to do that very well, has it? Um, it's put me through the actual uh, landing bay. Um, yeah, so go ahead and. Uh, Download the mod from Nexus Mods or by the Starfield Creation Kit, um, and then you will be able to uh, basically go and fly this ship. Now it is very, very fast. Okay, maybe it's perhaps too fast. All right, um, but everyone's to their own. You can reduce the web and the energy that's put into the engines if you really want to. Um, but I love it. I love it as a ship. I think it's brilliant, and it's definitely going to fit in with my um, my uh, Star Wars playthrough that I'm going to be doing. So, guys, let me know down below if you are um, going to be downloading and installing this mod. Um, are you already using it, but wanting um, wanting help with how to do it? So, hopefully, the tutorial was helpful for you. Go on. Yes. Destroyed. There we go. Um, yeah, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. And I will see you in the next one.